Hey guys, welcome to the class video for Archer, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Let's get started with bow. First, we're going to start off with our basics. Our first move is called Light Shots, and it does physical damage, and it has no buffs or debuffs to it. Our second move is called Swift Shot, and it does physical damage and increases your attack and your attack speed by 25% for 6 seconds. Our third move is called Power Shot, and you do physical damage. Each time you use Power Shot, your cooldown is reduced by 3 for Leg Strike. Not only that, you get 30% crit for 6 seconds. Our first skill is called Leg Strike, and it does physical damage, and it keeps your targets from using skills for 1 second. It also reduces your target's attack by a value of 50% for 3 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 45 seconds. Our next skill is called Flying Arrow, and it does physical damage and increases your pin by 50% for 6 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. Our next skill is called Tri Shot, and it does physical damage and decreases your target's defense by 5% for 8 seconds. Our next skill is called Rooting Shot, and it does physical damage and roots a target for 3 seconds, and goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Our next skill is called Hugian, and it does physical damage and increases your attack by 5% for 6 seconds, and this goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Our next skill is called Lombos, and it does physical damage and it deals fire damage as long as the target is within the fire. The fire only lasts for 5 seconds and this goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Our final skill is called Power Shot, and it does physical damage and increases your movement speed by 5% for 5 seconds and goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. Well guys, that does it for the bow. Time to move on to the boomerang. Here we go. Like always, we're going to start with the basics. Our first move is called Gash, and it does physical damage and decreases the target's SP. Our next move is called Reflex Strike that does physical damage and decreases the target's SP, increases your attack and attack speed by 25% for 6 seconds. Our next move is called Power Strike, and it does physical damage and increases your target's SP, and it resets the cooldown for a reacting kick, and it increases your movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds. Our first skill is called Reacting Kick, and it does physical damage and teleports to a target, and it goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. Our next skill is called Zon Edge, and it does physical damage and greatly increases the attack speed for 6 seconds and goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. Our next skill is called Circular Strike, that does physical damage and increases your defense by 5% for 12 seconds, and it goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. Our next skill is called Throwing Potential, and it does physical damage and additionally reduces the effect of IAS value for 8 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. Our next skill is called Gravity Blast, and it does physical damage and increases your movement speed by 3% for 5 seconds, and goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. Our next skill is called Striking Dash, and it does physical damage and increases your attack by 5% for 6 seconds, and goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Our next skill is called Air Blade Blow, and it does physical damage and decreases the target's movement speed by 50% for 3 seconds, and it goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Alright guys, we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if the video felt a little bit rushed. I do apologize if it does feel that way, but I do have a lot of things I have to do. I have to get the skills video for Twin Saga done. Then I have to record some more videos for my gameplay channel, then edit those. Then I have some other stuff to do. But my final saying on this class is it's actually pretty good. It has some good damage to it and it has some interesting DPS like skill sets to it. It just doesn't have any party buffs. So that's the only downfall I can see of it. But as you guys can see, I always put my pros and cons up in the top. So this class is also extremely squishy. So do be careful. It it feels like it has a lot less HP than the other classes and a lot less defense considering it can only use leather. So do be careful when playing this class and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and helped you guys out. Peace out.